my name is Rowan Casillas and I'm the director of La Casa, the Latino Culture Center at Indiana University, Bloomington. And what exactly is La Casa? La Casa is one of five cultural centers on campus. There is us, the Latino Culture Center, there's the Black Culture Center, the Asian, um, the Native American, and then the JLBT. And basically all of our jobs is to make sure that we provide support services for those prospective populations, but also provide educational opportunities for all students. For many of the students, um, you know, the university is a huge place. I mean, we, I think last semester we had 49,000 students. So for some folks, it could be very overwhelming. You know, they could feel as if they're getting lost in the shuffle. So the cultural centers and La Casa is one. We create these more personal spaces, places where people um, are not just a number or are not just someone in a crowd, but they can actually establish relationships, make connections, um, you know, feel part of a community. Don't know who she is, um, but she's never been someone who has made us feel threatened or, you know, kind of that somebody is, you know, evil or, um, you know, we just kind of sometimes are aware of her presence. Um, it just, it's interesting that males have a tendency to be the ones that have seen her. Females are the ones that have a tendency to hear her. But even then, there's been exceptions from that. Um, she doesn't make appearances or makes herself known regularly. Um, actually, it's been a while since we haven't um, heard from her. Um, but yeah, we just consider her as another resident of the center. Um, he was a graduate student. He was working here late too. And he was sitting at the desk and you know how there's the mini blinds. He heard um, the mind, blind somebody going up and down on the blinds and um, freaked him out. You know, I think there's also been times, for example, where I'm in my office and I hear somebody like running up the staircase and I turn around to tell him you can take a dive if you keep running like that and there's nobody there. So it's just somebody kind of coming up the staircase. Um, so those are things that, you know, one thing is I think somebody walking in these old creaky floors but another one is kind of when da, 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 you know coming up um and then you're like okay who's there and there's nobody there you get frightened you know um the i i don't get like terrorized frightened i mean I'm, i've been working for 20 some years and i i'm not afraid to be here by myself or in the dark or anything like that um it's just more to me it's kind of um unexpected it's, you know, it's like typical stuff when sometimes you just book yourself with your own shadow, you know what I mean? Um, and then you realize, okay, it's, it's nothing, and then you keep going. So it's not, it's, I've never felt threatened, I've never felt like in danger or there was evil or anything like that. It's more one of those things where, you know, like the stairs thing is more like, oh, okay. You know, and I think part of it has to do with that, you know, I'm used to it. Um, it's, again, it's not like I've had so many experiences or that I'm targeted. It's just, I think it's the fact that I've just been here for so long, the one that has been here the longest. Um, some of the students do get creeped out a little bit because, you know, they're not expecting it and what have you, but they still keep coming.